I've got an unboxing that I'm pretty freaking excited about. Like, I know I'm excited a lot, and y'all say that, but I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna give you just a little bitty hint. There you go, that's all you get. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. All right, now I think you kind of have a better idea of what you're gonna be looking at here in a second. This is very, 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 very exciting. I've been using the smaller pocket version of this and I really, really like it. It's so much better than using touchscreen buttons on like Gnar Bike Trials, which that's, that's an awesome game, but it's such a hard name to say. Gnar like bike or Gnar bike? I don't know. Anyways, uh, so it's been really, really fun with this controller. I'm so, 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 so excited to get this. Like I just cannot tell you. You get a free download of Nova 3. Very nice, very nice. So there it is in all of its glory. Your Android phone fits in there, kinda like this one. This flips out and it gives you all the little things for tablets and phones. Play in your living room, play on the go, transform your Android. I'll let you pause that and read all that stuff if you want to. On the side here, there's some more information. And then there's a little QR code. If you're able to scan it, go ahead and do so. If you're not, change the video to 1080p and you should be able to. And then there's some more information on this side. Talks about like all the, I guess, different countries. I don't know what it says underneath them. And then you can go to mogaanywhere.com. And then here's all the games like Own the Battleground, Score More, and Sports and Win, Retro Play the Old School Way, Race Faster and Farther, Live the Adventure with Thumbs Off the Glass. Biggest selling point of these things, not having to touch the touch screen, which I, I don't even play shooter games on Android because of that reason. I was trying to do this video without a knife, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get one. I know it's a little hard to read, but it says mobile gaming system. And it says, it's that on the other side as well. So I went ahead and got my little pocket knife here. Let's go ahead and cut this open so we don't destroy the box trying to rip the freaking tape off of it. That's so much cleaner than tearing tape off. All right, now for the moment of truth. Box is empty, we can go ahead and set that to the side. Oh man, this is awesome. You've got a little cable, you've got, ooh, a tablet stand. I didn't even know it came with this thing, that's awesome. So on the Galaxy Tab 2, seven inch, the Transformer Prime, which has its own little keyboard dock thing, I don't need it, and the Nexus 7. All those tablets I have will fit in there. When the refreshed Nexus 7 with a 1080p screen comes out, I'll be able to fit that in there. When the new Transformer Pad Infinity comes out, I'll be able to fit that in there as well. All right, so we'll set that to the side as well. And then in here, oh, I can't show you that side. It's got the code of Nova, and I'm redeeming that code myself. We'll set that to the side as well. And go through these real quick. Australian warranty instruction booklet. Wow, it's got several pages. Like, that's kind of crazy. And then there's the instructions for the uh, little tablet thingy majig. That's pretty cool though. I love that they included a little stand. That's awesome. Definitely gonna be trying that out. There you go. Now that should be very readable. To connect this controller to your device, just like with the smaller version, you do need to use the MOGA Pivot app, and I'm guessing they're saying to scan the QR code to access it. There you go, that should be scannable if you're watching this in 1080p. Let's cut the crap and get to the real important part of this video. On the back of this one, it contains the code to download the game for free. I know this is what you came here to see, the Moga Pro, oh man, that's just, ugh. I cannot tell you how awesome that is. My biggest complaint with this little guy was the nubs. Kind of like, I want to use the PSP as an example, where it just it goes up and down, left and right. So when you're trying to precisely aim, it got a little bit difficult to do that. 
But with this one, you actually have a joystick. So that's very awesome. You got different levels of sensitivity and etc. And a lot of apps, like I uh, can't remember what it was, but Narbike Trials, Gnarbike Trials, whatever the heck they call it, um, several apps are being updated and the description of the app is specifically saying the update was to support the Moga Pro, which is this guy right here. This is awesome. I don't mean to delay and put off showing this awesome controller anymore, but I wanna also point something out. The Moga Pro app has sections like racing, the Moga Pro controller. It's There are sections that show if it supports specifically the Moga Pro or like the Moga Pocket. And there's just different categories. You could flip through them and find out games that'll work with the app. Crazy Taxi came out today for Android and I previously posted a video on this channel. Uh, just go to my recent videos and you should be able to find it. But this controller worked very well with Crazy Taxi. So let's flip out. Oh man, that is just awesome. More QR codes. That's to scan and get the pivot app. You've got the on and off switch. What it looks like it comes. Oh, okay. So there's no actual batteries in this guy. That's what you use this little cable for. So you can charge it. And they're using the um, micro USB just like all Android devices use these days. So that's very nice. I love that because you see some people like the Transformer Prime that uses a specific or the Galaxy Tab that use a specific connection and you have to use that cable and no other cable. Someone like me, a consumer that has a million of these little cables lying around, I can't thank you enough for not changing that and ha making us go out and buy some special little adapter. I'm calling you out, Sony. <laughs> so you just turn it off. It's got A and B so two people can use it. That statement was very wrong. A is what you would normally use and B is what you would use for HID games. You'll see me set this controller up near the end and you'll see that. This controller uses Bluetooth so in theory an unlimited amount of people could play at the same time. You don't need to flip a switch for one. <laughs> that was, I'm just a special person. Very cool. That's awesome. Now I've got my Note 2 here so I'm gonna go ahead and use this as, as an example. And then I'm going to take my note and I'm going to put it in there. All right, so I've got this huge extended battery on it. So that's not going to work. Like it would in theory fit like this. And then you could just play with your phone like that. So that's pretty cool. Just a quick test. I noticed this. I'm like comparing two things together and it's not really call the comparison video. It does go out a little bit further than the Moga Pocket, so that's pretty cool. It's got little rubber grips. There you go, I did turn up my SO pretty high. So now you can clearly see those little grips in there. They're like rubber and they're non-slip, so that's pretty cool. You've also got them in the top of the controller as well. It's gonna, it's gonna be nearly impossible to get that in the shot, but it's there. Oh, there you go, you can see it right there. All right, so enough messing around. You've got start, you've got select, you close that if you want to use it in tablet mode. You've got a, a L2, R2, L1, R1. Very nice because on this one you only have the L and R. So you've got more buttons, which means you can do more things. There's the little charging port to charge it through like a wall adapter. Or if you happen to have like a power bank, I don't, uh, I don't have one right in front of me. That was a lie, yes I do. So let's go ahead and undo this little cable here. And they give you nice. It's probably roughly around, I don't know, three to five feet. Well, not three feet, that's much longer than three foot. I don't know, I'll let you gesture by the video. So they give you a nice amount of cable to play with. Go ahead and plug it into my little nutrient thing here. I'll plug this in. And then I'll turn on my nutrient power pack and oh there's a little flashing light it's like an orangish color right now probably letting me know that it's charging so that's pretty cool i'll have to read the instructions but that's probably like a sync or reset button or something i'm not sure maybe it's lights for the controller Oh, it is. Nice. It's going to be hard to tell on video. The video is real dark. I know I had to turn the ISO down all the way. but So you see the controller. I press the little button on the back. Hopefully you'll be able to tell. Man, it's really hard to tell. 
But yeah, when you press it, the buttons light up. Man, I can't get that on the shot, but I can promise you that when you press that button, the little lights light up, so that's really cool. All right, so let's mess with this little guy right here. Looks like that flips out, that comes out. Awesome, so you've got a little stand, and you can take like, so say since this has a huge fat battery on it, nice, I can fit my phone on there, and it fits perfectly. That is awesome, and then I can just, Close this, sync up the, the controller with my phone, and I can start playing, you know, any game that I want to. Alright, so it, basically you'll just download the Moga Pivot app, and you will turn on the controller. I'm going to go ahead and set mine to A, and it says turn on Bluetooth. Uh, yes, allow, it's turning on my Bluetooth. And uh, love your MOGA. Check out the MOGA Pro. Uh, continue. Hmm. All right, so this is the MOGA Pocket. I'm going to go ahead and press Add a New Controller. And I'm going to choose the MOGA Pro. And then it says, provides the best game experience in A. Also offers mode B to use with HD games. So, okay, cool. Um, set up A and B. Nice. So switch it to B. Moga is ready. It's searching for the controller. It could have very well been dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and retry that. And now it's flashing and it shows signs of life. So hopefully it'll find the controller here in just a second. All right, it has been paired, so I'm gonna go ahead and press continue. After you press continue, and then you see the next screen where you're going through your Bluetooth devices, you're supposed to tap on the MOGA Pro HID text. It says BDA MOGA Pro HID. So let's go ahead and configure A, continue. Make sure that it's off for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and then continue. Switch it to A. Indicator light should be green and power button should be blinking blue. Okay, it is. Moga is ready. Searching. This is pretty cool. The other one actually like threw up a code and you had to like press accept or yes or whatever. And there wasn't really a code because there's no display on your pocket. So they've updated this apparently. Connecting with your Moga controller. This may take up to 30 seconds. All right, congratulations, your controller is ready to use. And then if you press this little button right here next to the controller, it gives you a list of all the games that are optimized to work with it, like Shadowgun. I'm going to go ahead and download uh, one of the racing games I play. All right, so the, the game's done. I'm going to go ahead and launch it real quick. And I'm just going to give you a quick, you know, idea of how this works and... Yeah, so I'll start game, I'll choose free, I'll choose one of the ones I've already done, and then, check that out, man. No on-screen buttons, the buttons on the screen actually disappear when you have a controller hooked up. Well, at least in this game, and games that specifically support the MOGA controller. And what's really cool is this game does actually sense, hey, you're barely pulling on the trigger. And then the more you pull on it, the more you lean. So that's really, really cool. And you can press A to accelerate. And that resets your bike. That's the mini. <laughs> so this is cool. In the description, you'll find a link to this controller if you want to check it out. I'll have the best pricing possible by clicking my link. If you want to buy it later, please click the link and then add it to your wish list or your cart. And then check it out at a later date. It helps out my channel when you do that. If you could also give a video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out. Alright, the video was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, so I'm going to go ahead and say a few things. I've been using this controller for a couple days now. I put off the unboxing, unfortunately, and I'm just now getting around to it. I've got to say, I absolutely freaking love this thing. I actually have to buy a second one now because my wife... <laughs> She was, 
she really likes to do, so both of us are kind of like clashing, like, hey, it's my turn. <laughs> like, damn kids. <laughs> so this thing is insanely awesome. It is definitely worth it. If you play any shooter games, you will definitely admire the fact that you don't have to use on-screen keys to, like, turn and navigate and etc. This controller is freaking awesome. It's worth it. All right, I lied. I'm not done just yet. It's funny, I'm actually using the Moga Pocket right now because my wife has the Moga Pro. I was like, <laughs> I'm telling you, gotta get a second one. But yeah, the freaking Moga Pro is definitely better than the Moga Pocket. The Moga Pocket is good for some games like Sonic or Gnar Bike Trials or however you pronounce that. Games like that. It's definitely a go, it's definitely a good device, but as far as like shooter games, having that real joystick like on the Xbox and PlayStation, that is definitely something that's very, very beneficial and awesome, besides having little nubs that just like, you know, <laughs> kind of like the PSP like I said earlier, so it's definitely a plus having those awesome dual analog joysticks compared to the Moga Pocket. So the extra like, I think $20 in price difference, honestly? You're going to be much happier with the Moga Pro than you are with the Moga Pocket. Now also, keep in mind, the Moga Pocket is a smaller device than the Moga Pro. So, that's also a, something you need to consider. You can fit the Moga Pocket in your pocket real easily, but the Moga Pro, that's a different story. So, I guess you also got to keep that in mind when you're considering which controller to purchase. Alright, I promise. Now I'm done. This is what would Josh do. And I'm out. And no, I am most definitely not cheating right now. <laughs> oh, I'm such a liar.